Hey up. Evening everyone, it's day 22 of my carnivore diet journey, adventure, if you want to call it that. Um, in a really good mood this evening, I went to the gym today. I finally managed to get to the gym again. So I went at lunchtime and since I'm not eating lunch like I used to, I do actually have, and I like to get out of the office and away from my desk for a little while at lunchtime. So my old routine used to be, you know, get up, go out, sit down, go to a cafe or something like that, have, you know, some lunch, maybe a, a Thai or a, you know, some sort of a curry or something, um, and just be out of the office for a little while. But now that I'm on the carnivore diet, I don't really do that anymore. I have to bring, kind of do my own meal prep. I might have to just go to this, you know, to the shop or whatever and buy some chicken breast or something. And then I just come back to the office and eat it because there isn't anywhere else to go. As I start to do more and more meal prep and start bringing my own food and that sort of thing, I'm going to go out even less. So good opportunity during lunchtime to go to the gym instead. So I just need to get my workouts a little bit quicker. So I'm going to try and do them more frequently, but fewer exercises so I could do a little bit of cardio. If I can do 20 minutes of cardio and 20 minutes of weight training, just hit a couple of exercises, like three exercises for each workout on the, on the weight training, but stick to big compound movements like squats and bench press and, and, and deadlifts and those sorts of things. Then I think I'll be able to work it in. And it also means that when the weather is terrible and my wife has to, to take me and my son in in the morning, it means that I can get it done during the day and not, you know, then she doesn't have to come and pick my son up and then come back and pick me up later. And it's all just a bit of a faff. So I was really happy about that. So you can probably tell from my mood that I made it to the gym and I'm in a good mood. Uh, everything else is just pretty much steady on. Um, Weight's basically the same, down a little bit, body fat's down a little bit. Um, sleep wasn't so good last night, but that's because of the, you remember the weather and the wind and everything was blowing. Well, the power went out and then it came back on and the doorbell went off and then it went out and then it came back on and the doorbell. So I had broken sleep because the power kept coming on and off. And when it comes back on, our doorbell rings. I don't know why. Um, but I got loads of steps in today. So 9,500 steps sort of 15, 1600 calories, which is kind of my normal amount. And yeah, so feel pretty good. <laughs> One sort of funny thing that I've noticed and I have no idea if this is the cause of this. This could just be r random chance. But it seems that if I, using my watch, there's my watch. All right, we'll focus on it. There's my watch. Um, using my watch, if I take my body fat percentage with my watch, I use that in the morning to get the, the body fat percentage I keep in my spreadsheet, right? <laughs> and <laughs> this is just something I've realized from, from my notes that I take. If I take my body fat percentage before I poop in the morning, it's higher. So if I take it before I poop, it might be 31.5. And then if I go to the bathroom, have a bowel movement, take it again, it might be 30.9. So interestingly, it seems to me that if you have anything in your bowels, that registers as fat when it does the measurement, which I find really interesting. No idea why, no idea if that's true, but it's now happened a few times. Um, I need to do some more study into it. But anyway, it just seems like a really random fact that I thought was quite funny. Um, again, I don't know if it's true. It could just be that if I get up in the morning, I weigh myself and I take my body fat percentage. And then if I wait a couple of hours, it just naturally goes down. I don't know. But anyway, um, if anybody watches this and, and knows anything about it, leave leave a comment. I'm sure I'll get some funny comments about that one. But um yeah, anyway, just, just one of the things I've noticed from the spreadsheet. Other than that, yeah, everything's on track. 
I know I mentioned that I wanted to, I want to start eating fewer peanuts and less peanut butter, which I am doing. So if I didn't have any peanuts at all today, I had a one teeny bit of peanut butter this evening and then I just felt really guilty for it. And I was like, why did I do that? I didn't even really need it. It was almost like habit. So I think over the next few days, I'll be able to get the peanuts out. Um, I have, after talking to um, my nutritionist friend today, she suggested that um, macadamia nuts, and there's a health food store down the road, and they sell raw macadamia nuts, um, which are actually quite nice. And if you actually look at the the weight, or at least as they were today, the weight compared to peanuts, they're almost cheaper, which is weird. Um, but I don't buy peanuts in bulk, so that's probably why. Anyway, she said if you know if you want to have something and you need to have something like that, she's like, don't have peanuts, have macadamia nuts instead. Just don't eat too many of them because they got they're loaded with calories. So, and I think some people mentioned that. I know people mentioned walnuts in the comments the other night, but I think some people mentioned macadamia nuts as well. So I have some macadamia nuts, and if I have to have something, then I'll try that. Um, again, I'm not super, super strict on the diet, so, you know, all the carnivore diet zealots out there don't need to attack me over it. I totally know peanuts aren't on there, macadamia nuts aren't strictly on there either, but that's okay. I don't have severe medical problems that I'm trying to solve. I don't have severe weight loss. I'm not really trying to do that. That's not the goal of what I'm doing. But anyway, I am going to try and stop with the peanut butter So, and the peanuts. So we'll see how that goes. But it seems to be going all right so far. I didn't have too much of a, a problem with it. And the other thing I do after talking to her today, again, I think I might... I think I might stick to my decision in February of trying to go almost lion diet and really, really trying to stick to red meat and not not eating as much lean meat and and only red meat. I don't know if I'll be able to kill the caffeine completely, but I am trying to phase it out so that over the next few days, so by the time the beginning of Feb comes around, I won't be drinking tea and coffee anyway. So that would be good because it would help phase out a little bit of the milk too. So I'm working on tightening it down a little bit, but I'm going to see how that works with going to the gym and everything else. So if I can start working the gym back into it, I don't know how I'm going to feel once I'm working out. I suspect I'm not going to feel any different. And if anything, I'll probably feel better. So we'll see. And the other effect, the other side effect of going to the gym is that I'll drink more water by default because I drink a lot of water when I'm at the gym. And so I suspect that's a good point, actually. Um, so I did leg workout today and I did about 20 minutes on the treadmill just walking. And I suspect that I will I will put on some weight tomorrow because my muscles will hold and retain some water. And that's usually what happens. So as I get back into weight training and you get a pump and the muscles start to retain some water, I'll put the weight back on, but it's not actual weight. It's just water weight in the muscles, which is totally fine. And I don't, I don't care. So again, to the people who made some comments about don't weigh myself every day, I do weigh myself every day, but I don't really care what the number is. As long as my clothes start getting looser and I can go in another, you know, belt loop every once in a while, then I'm, or, you know, notch on my belt every once in a while. I'm quite happy with that. So I'm not really focused on it. I just do it because I want to see the patterns and I want to see if there's some relationship between the pattern. Like when I start going to the gym, my weight will go up and I know that's just water. And if I want to lose 10 pounds, I can just stop going to the gym and do a severe weight cut and I could lose 10 pounds if I want, but that's not the point. Right. I think that's it for this evening. And if anybody's watching, thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell if you want to get updates when they come out. But these are every day. The other ones, I don't know what's going to happen with that. But um, I will continue doing these every day and we'll see how long we can go through the diet. Also, at the end of the month, I am going to do a special recap. So I'm going to try and summarize what my feelings are after having done it for a month. And I'll look at the change overall um, on how much weight and the 
body fat percentage and all the other stuff. So we'll sort of have a look at that and I'll, I'll do a summary video as well at the end of the month, maybe on the 1st of Feb or something. I'll talk about what happened in January. And that might be interesting for some people, hopefully. And yeah, until then or until tomorrow, um, everybody have a good evening and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.